Alright, last kill of the day, guys. Here we go. Renar seeds, okay. It's probably the best drop I've gotten all day today. But yeah, 21 kills. And this time, uh, not not the best drops. No onyx bolts, no cannonballs or anything. But we'll try again next time. But yeah, using a crafting cape, it's so nice, man. With a crafting cape, dude, corp is just so much more smooth, especially with this method. Oh, man, I love it. Definitely looking forward to doing some uh, more for sure. Alright, well, either way, I did PR in this raid. Nice. 25 minutes. Not bad. Alright, so I'm slowly uh, working down my sapphire ring, so I just made myself 500 recoils. I've been neglecting my suffering a bit here, so let's fill this bad boy up. Should be uh, good for a while. Let me see. 20,000 charges. Oh yeah, definitely good for a while. I got this uh, master clue from somewhere, I don't know where, but let's open this up, here we go. Um, okay, the only thing I don't like really is the fire letters, but otherwise it's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I also got another elite clue from, I think it was mining, so let's check it out. Oh man, I got a master clue from that too. Hopefully we can get something from that. I'm getting really close to both 100 elite and master clues though. 2 off from 100 master clues, 10 off from 100 elites. Oh yeah, nice. We hit 850 KC. I guess uh, every 50 corp kills is a pretty big deal. <laughs> Alright, another 21 kill session for soul runes. Okay, uh, a bit disappointing this, this round. One four, uh, 137 more kills for the 1000 KC goal that I want. So on the last episode, I introduced to you guys the progress sheet for this account. PVM progress and uh, eventually skilling progress as well. But there is a lot of work to be done because I have to go through like all my videos uh, from this series, which is freaking way too long at this point, so many. So I can like, you know, figure out what KC's I got certain things and, and what dates I got certain things and achieve certain things. But honestly, it's, it's going to be worth it. You know, it's going to look so nice once this progress sheet is completed. Alright, last kill of the day. Another 21 kills for some adamant arrows. Oh man. It was going so good, you know. But the last three days, I haven't gotten any Onyx bolts at all, so... So I've been getting asked a lot about why I don't use the ultimate armor method. Uh, just in case you don't know, that method is just specking corpse stats all the way to zero, all of it, so that you can kill it without food and yeah, you can just kind of AFK it. So the reason why I don't do that method is because that method is just not as efficient as the suicide method. So ultimate armor method, you get about four and a half kills if you have like you know stats like similar to mine and similar gear. Now, with the method that I'm doing, actually, it's 7 kills an hour, okay? I'm consistently pulling that off for, like, at least the past 200 kills. So, I'm very confident, and I can say that. So, even if I take into the account the time I need to spend to uh, get the food and all that for the, my method, it's still about, like, 15 to 20 minutes quicker every hour. For me, I definitely want to do the most efficient method. And plus, I like this method a lot more because Ultimate Iron Man method is too chill. But yeah, if you want to relax and, you know, kill Corp without much uh, concentration at all, yeah, you can do the ultimate iron method. Four to four and a half kills an hour is still pretty decent. I mean, even half a year ago, that would be a dream for a lot of people to pull off, so. For those of you that are experienced players and probably already know about this, but if you didn't, look at how fast you can cook Quan Blancs. It's insane. So I don't know who the hell coded the way to cook this, but... Yeah, you can actually cook insanely fast. And actually, you have been able to do this for a long time. Uh, people with like mouse keys and you know, HK and all that used it way back in the day to get insane XP rates. With the make all option though, it's so easy to do as you can see. Revenge bitch for last raid. Thank you. That worked out pretty well. I'm trying out a new setup. Just because I am uh, planning on doing a self-imposed challenge. So for those of you that know a lot about raids, I plan on uh, doing no scouting raids. Alright, finished the first raid with the uh, new setup there. I expected it to be slower, but honestly, it's not even that bad, you know? Even with the thieving vanguards, 
I did mention that I want to move on from scouting uh, raids and instead I just want to do every single raid that I come across. And what I mean by that is this is what scouting is if you don't know. You go into a raid, you use a third party client to uh, look at what's inside basically. As you can see, I, I can see pretty much everything in this particular raid. And uh, this will you know, allow me to figure out before I even invest my time into this whether or not I want to do this. So normally, a raid like this, right, is very slow because Ice Demon, uh, Vanguard's combination, also a thieving room is like very slow. So it's usually not worth it to do this raid. So you would leave and then you would start again, you know, start another raid. There's no penalty, by the way. So you just leave and you go back, back in and you check uh, for the next raid and see if it's good. So let's see if this raid is good. Okay, this raid is pretty good. It's got a jelly room, right? It's got only three bosses and these two skill rooms are really good. So I would do this raid normally, right? I'm not really doing a raid right now, I'm just demonstrating. So the reason why I'm mentioning all of this is because I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to scout my raids anymore. And I actually haven't been doing that for the past two days and I'm actually loving it. I've been scouting my raids for like the past 1400 of them and it's gotten pretty dull, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. It's gotten to the point where I'm just like looking for the best bang for my buck raid, you know? I want to get that quickest raid for like the best points combination. And what that means is there's a lot of like unique raid layouts and setups that I normally would just never do. It's gotten to that point where you just only want to do those raids. You never want to do any of the other like slower ones, the less efficient ones. And uh, now that I'm doing no scout raiding, I'm able to do pretty much every type of raid. I mean, I've been able to, it's just the mindset was not to. And because I'm committing to every single raid, I'm experiencing so many different new variations that Honestly, I just never appreciate it. And it's so fun, honestly. One of the biggest problems when you're not going to be scouting your raids is the fact that you will encounter Ice Demon pretty much almost half the time. And yeah, Ice Demons are probably one of the biggest things that people will skip a raid if they see it. So since I'm not skipping my raids, you know, I, I pretty much have to do Ice Demon almost half the time. So with this setup, I'm able to do Ice Demons with or without a bank, no problem, because... I can drop some things to pick up kindling because I need that inventory space so I can drop like rune pickaxe, a bronze axe. If I want to, I can drop the ranging cape on the ground. You know, I'll have plenty of inventory space to do the ice demon because like not every ice demon, it would be worth my time to actually go and make a bank. So yeah, this setup definitely allows me that flexibility that I need to pretty much do any raid comfortably, no problem, whether it's slow or harder. And also, you're probably gonna be asking, what the hell is this shit right here? What are you wearing for your legs? This is the Robe Bottle of Darkness. Basically, Mystic Bottoms. And the reason why I'm wearing this over Aram's is because Aram's skirt is really, really heavy. It's 11.3 kilograms. So, yeah, it just would slow me down when it comes to uh, running around all the place with braids. And the accuracy difference is not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Like, I still do all incredibly fine just you know with this much mage accuracy also the robot of darkness just matches a lot better than freaking aram skirt would match an ancestral top so gotta get that fashion scape points in you know what i'm saying I haven't had a tough corp on exposed yes after the fourth day the collection is starting to uh come back yeah it's definitely a bird or something law runes on 900 kc Damn, man, I've been flying by through these uh, Corp KC. Five more days, and I, I will be hitting the 1000 KC, so. Well, I get a Spectral Sigil by then. Spirit Shield? Okay. Alright. Okay, guys, I gotta go back to Slayer. At least temporarily. I don't think it'll be uh, for too long. Just because I want to prepare myself adequately for Dragon Slayer 2. So, Dragon Slayer 2. We were going to be getting a new Dragon Balls called Forkath, and apparently it is classified as a blue dragon. So if I get a blue dragon task, I will be able to use the Slayer Helm's, you know, percentage accuracy and strength and all that bonus for that boss. So it would behoove me to actually go and get that blue dragon task. So let's uh, go ahead and look for one. Hopefully I haven't banned any of this. Okay. Yeah. Alright, wish me luck. Hopefully I get this blue giant task uh, very quickly. While looking for blue giant task, I ended up getting 200 Dagonoth tasks. And I will continue to do all the Dagonoth uh, tasks at the DK's layer. 
while I am, you know, doing Slayer for whatever uh, other goals. So, I'll wait till you win the mod game, my dude. Oh, Dragon X to start off. Well, I have enough space to, you know, pick up all these drops, honestly. No, no, no. You're misunderstanding. I'm not talking about the, the weights. I'm talking about the number. Oh, what? I just got a freaking Supreme Pet? What the fuck? Okay, I gotta go bank. Um, well, hello there. That's that's interesting. It's been a, such a long time since I've gotten a pet, huh? What? <laughs> hello, I got a Supreme Pet. Wow. Damn, that was unexpected as hell. Well, well, we'll have to take a little, a uh, little bit of a, a mini break and ensure this pet real quick before I go back. <laughs> Supreme, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna probably put the annotation on the screen, you know, to show how many months it's been since the last time I got a pet. I think it's been uh, quite a few months, so. Uh, pretty nice to see. Refreshing to see, of course. Alright, there we go. Time to insure this bad boy. And yeah, let me see. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we got uh, 6 bossing pets, 1 clue scroll pet, and 1 skilling pet now. Very nice. Alright, back to DK's though. Oh, what? Wow, Serapol 2? Damn, we just got a back-to-back. -back. I mean, it's not really important at, at this point, but cool, you know? So it's nice to see some back-to-back -back drops, even if they're like kind of scuffed runs. Okay, you know what? I realize I have 8 days until Dragon Slayer 2 comes out, so... I'm not really in a, a rush to uh, get this Blue Dragon test, so... Why not go for that back-to-back? -back? And I did. So, yeah. Got another dad task to do later. Probably tomorrow I'll do it. Amethyst arrows. Yo, how much money do I have in this? I, I don't think I've ever pc this, huh? Nice. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. Nope. Off to do a master then because I got basically two masters ready to go. And no place to put these Elite Clues. So, been a bit since the last one. Here goes nothing. Alright. Not that amazing of a clue, but I got another master ready. And I got another master on top of that ready as well. Okay, we just uh, PR'd here. Nice, sub 25, pretty good, but... Yep, I uh, haven't got anything in the past 9 days in this uh, place. Ah, Alright, cool. Badoodle. Yes! Oh my god, yes! There we go, we got something. Here we go, guys. Oh my god! The wrong ancestral. It's not bad. I mean, I haven't got ancestrals at all in forever, but uh, okay. Uh, well, that makes my fourth ancestral top. Nice. I'm still missing the bottoms though, but yeah, better than seeing a deck scroll or arcane scroll. I'll tell you that. All right, guys. I have made a lot of progress on this progress sheet here, and I'm still not done. But my god, I've already spent like probably six seven hours you know finalizing almost most of it so as you can see i got most of the dates down for uh, a lot of the core drops the cases and everything also i've been expanding a little bit on some uh things that are important that i just forgot about so yeah there's uh still some sections that i want to do uh probably you know some important clue scroll stuff as well uh but Anyways, I will try to finish all of this by the next video. That's what I'm hoping for. But if not, you know, you can understand. It's just such a huge project. But yeah, we've got to make it nice. And also, here's this part that I will be wrapping up to as well. The skilling one, you know, is really important. And uh, there's also the other achievement capes, you know, pets and stuff too. There might be a few other uh, sections in this list that I want to uh, put into it. But as for now, I'd say the spreadsheet is about 70-80% complete. So if you want to make a copy of this, obviously clean out the uh, numbers for yourself, then yes, feel free. Remember, once you're on the spreadsheet, the link is in the description. Go on the file section, make sure you're on your Google account, of course, and then click make copy. That way you have your own version. Feel free to use, you know, don't need a credit me or anything. All yours. I have spent way too much time working on this video, so I think it's a good time to wrap up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the videos as usual, especially to those of you that, you know, watch all the way to the end. You guys are the core of this channel in terms of, you know, supporters, so really appreciate that. 
And uh, anyways, I will catch you guys soon with another video in a few days. If you are new though and you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll know exactly when the next video will uh, be dropped. Anyways, have a good rest of your day guys. Take care and bye bye.